at the notch bar. And it goes to Dragic in the corner and a foul called on Omer Anand. Dragic has to expend so much energy just to get inside only to whip it back out. Whitmar's in. Anand almost knocked it away. Tough shot for Gordon Dragic and he hits the three. Right, Jeff. Such is the intensity of the Turkish defense that these Slovenian players are going to be absolutely shattered at the end of this game in an attempt to get even a clean shot away. Widmar comes up and fouls Kutri, steps in his path, so we'll have a new shot clock. Three fouls on Slovenia in this quarter. Dream Tunchery, what a great player he is. I really do believe that Real Madrid regretted letting him go a couple of years ago. Came back to Turkey, possibly as part of uh, Coach Tanyevic's plans. Uh, Tunchery, oh. and it goes to Asik, and he is fouled by Jonas Slokar. The wraparound pass there from Tunchery. A dream to watch. And there's the foul. Back of the head, but a clean attempt for the ball. Well, repeating what we said earlier, this is the one aspect of Asik's game that he'd probably like to improve. Coming in tonight, shooting 30%. And he shot an air ball that time. See if that has some type of focus pocus effect on the turkey big man. Well, he could do a lot worse than watch a certain Louis Scholar to shoot foul shots. Just float it in. And Sandy Bacerovic goes up, so they may have to take the Hackershack approach. Here comes Dragic, explodes to the other end, back out to Bacerovic. Dragic from the corner, and one shot now for Slovenia. Yeah, I mean, Slovenia need all of those three-point attempts to go in. It seems to deliver a policy now. Penetrate, dish it out, and look for a three. Turnover, and the first really fast-break opportunity team for Slovenia. First points off the turnover and first fast break points. And the Slovenian bit coaching team begging their team to put some full court pressure on but no response. Thank you. 